talk about the anti palin uh, Paul Ryan. Are we distracted by his widow's peak? His hair is distracting. It's, it, it catches your eye, you know. It's, it, it, if you're driving and you saw his hair, you might get in a car crash. Welcome to News Beast, Vice Edition. We've got Rocco from Vice in the house and our own Alison Yara. Hi. How yep. are you? I'm good. Um, so we're talking about Joe Biden and chains. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. The question is, was this racially loaded? The RNC, of course, lost no time putting out a press release declaring a new low. I, I feel like this is a soccer flop. I feel like this is a flop in soccer when the guys go down and they pretend they've been deeply injured in order to get a penalty kick. And everyone seems to have gone along with this. But what's your take? I think Biden may be uh, the Andy Kaufman of the um, I like Democratic that. Party. Mm. I like that. I think he's a performance artist, actually, and deeply funny. Um, and if you look at it in that light, he's, he's made a lot of people laugh. But n seriously, I mean, I don't know. I think, uh, was it, you know, Palin yesterday, or no, it was, it was Meghan McCain who said, um, you know, everyone looks at him, he's like a sweet old grandpa when he makes these gaffes, but if anybody else made it, that they would freak out. And I think, think there's that's some true? truth to that. There's some truth Double to that. Double standard? But, I mean, at the same time, I do think it's just a slip of the tongue. It's something he's done for a long time. Yeah, and the words gaff and Biden together, I think people are just looking for it's him to make It's chocolate and peanut butter. Exactly. It is. It's like a delicious combination for the Republican <laughs> Party. So, I mean, I think it's, it's funny. He says things all the time, and I think... You know, it was considered a gaffe when he preempted the president's support of same-sex marriage. The Republicans were quick to point that to that as being a gaffe. But crazy I think like a, fox. a lot of people were very excited to hear Joe Biden say that he supported same-sex marriage I, and President Obama soon after. I guess there, there's a dueling thing, right? There's Is there a double standard? Uh, and then is this just a manufactured controversy? Uh, we got some Twitter questions. W.S. Quint, I, I, I guess I'm going to pronounce that. W. Squint asks, mm. does the fact that Biden grabs little attention make him a good VP? Doesn't garner as much attention as Ryan. So I, I guess this is the question of when your VP becomes a distraction and when he's value added to the ticket. I mean, other than Biden giving uh, then candidate Obama sort of some you know, credibility on foreign policy, which he definitely did not have, he definitely he wasn't a distraction. I thought he was sort of neutral. He neither added to it. Well, incredible. Crucial state like of tenure Delaware. in the Senate. I mean, he's sort of he's the old school, like you mm -hmm. mentioned. Mm -hmm. He has this experience. He's been there for a long time, and I think you know people are refreshed to see someone do what appears to be speaking their mind. I'm not quite sure he's always doing old school, that. new school kind of combo. Yeah, and I think um, Politico had a story about his aides being much tighter on on, on the traveling press um, talking to him, and that's telling because he is speaking his mind. He's going off script a lot. Um, it's refreshing in one sense, but you know you got to watch what you say. It might be called going rogue. <laughs> Could be. Um, let's talk about the anti Palin. Uh, Paul Ryan, though, is 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 he becoming? Is he the anti Palin? I think so. I think he's he's the post Palin game change. We've really spent all week talking about uh, Medicare, uh, whether it's Medicare attacks and and the mm -hmm. Ryan plan, and this this is somewhat of a distraction for the Romney campaign because they somehow thought they could distance themselves from the Ryan plan, which is just not in the realm of reality. Uh, and, and that has become a distraction, to Squint's point. That's true. Um, lots of distractions in this campaign. Um, we had a piece on Vice about Paul Ryan being a teenager, um, even though he's in his 40s. Um, Are we distracted uh, by his widow's peak? Uh, his hair is distracting. <laughs> it's, it, it catches your eye. You know, it's, it, it, if you're driving and you saw his hair, you might get in a car crash. You know, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's very distracting. There's lots of stuff about him that's distracting. What, 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 what's, what's your take on the distraction quality of Paul Ryan? My take is this Medicare discussion is sort of, I feel like, the initial reaction. And so the Republicans are trying to stay from, away from the word privatization, and the Democrats are trying to sort of throw that word over in their direction. But I don't think it will continue to be about Medicare. I think it will be about all kinds of new things. I think Paul Ryan will have plenty of opportunities to make gaps. I, I think if you're down in uh, your home area of Sarasota, Florida, I think it's going to be all about Medicare. It is right now. <laughs> yes, it will. We got some time left. <laughs> Yes, we, we do, we do. This is, we are still a long way out. Uh, final word, Rocco. You get one word to sum up the zeitgeist of the whole darn thing. Of uh, the whole darn thing. Everything in the world. In Everything the world. in the world. But seriously, no pressure. Don't Disappointing. <laughs> Dis just, that's your yeah. overall assessment? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Gaftastic. 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 I like that a lot. Yeah. Very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm it's better than Game Changer. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. No, Gaftastic is the game change of 2012. Oh. Well, now you just ruined it. Uh, yeah, but I just, I'm just it's anticipating what's game next. Game change. <laughs> Go change. Uh, that's all for us at News Boost today. I like the Aretha. This is a change.